What's up, YouTube? It's First Shift here. Um, today I'm doing a request video off a uh, guy on Facebook asked me how to do this, so I figured I'd go ahead and uh, do a quick little short video and show you how to do it. Um, basically what he was doing or asking was when you load up an application, for example, let's say Cydia, how to make this into a picture or a theme you would like before Cydia loads. Kind of like a theme for uh, a default loader screen, basically. And uh, you could do this for pretty much all the applications on the iPhone. Um, so I told him I'd go ahead and do one for Cydia. So, to get this to work, first thing you need to do is make a folder on your desktop and... Uh, name it whatever you want see I have here is loader so go ahead and uh, click into that and make another one labeled folders after you've done that go ahead and make another one now depending on the application it's going to be whatever dot app as you see this one's Cydia dot app so first thing I'm going to do is show you what I was working on on PhotoFlexer see here I made a background 320 by 480 um, made some writing and a logo so to put this all together from what I already started on it would look something similar to that as a Cydia logo so when it loads so what you'd want to do is go ahead and after you put one together you like save it as a PNG into the file or the folder you just named Cydia.app so as you see I got it in there so the next thing we need to do is SSH into our iPhone or iPod touch so give me one second to do that As you see, we're SSHing, and once we get into SSH there, all we are going to do is backspace once, slide down till you get to stash, and right here to our themes folder. Next, what you're going to do, same thing as we always do with any Winterboard theme, is go to where we saved it, and as you see, I have it right here, loader. So all I am going to do is drag that into my themes and copy it in there okay now once that's loaded in there we will go to our iPod touch or phone or whatever we're using by the way when you do save it save it as default once you save it as capital D and then the rest lowercase default it will be set so as you see here, disable that. And if I click on Cydia, it doesn't have nothing. And it just goes to this page. So we go to our winter board. And as you see there, loader. And let winter board do its little magic. Alrighty, I always just restart it just to be safe. And if we go to Cydia, there you go. That is a default loader for uh, Cydia. And like I said, you can use any any you know application that you would like to use. Like I said, I just did this for Cydia, which I think looks pretty awesome actually, just for messing around. So, that's a quick little video on just to show you how to add a default opening page to any of your applications. Um, next thing I'm going to do real fast here is uh, on the SMS background for the 3.0 on the iPhones. Um, as you know, you have to save them into your 
photos. But let's say you wanted a different photo or something else. I will show you how to do that. Instead of having to save them or even using a computer at all to do this, all you need to do is open up Safari. And you could do this between, like, if you have a full browser or a different website browser, you could use whatever. But let's just go ahead and do one here for you to show you what I'm talking about. Uh, click on Images. And I will just do a easy one here. iPhone. wallpaper as you see right there so let that load and as you see you could type in anything you want to make this work like I said I'm just doing a quick one just to show you it does work uh, let's go full size okay let's say I was going to use that I'm going to click on it and again this is all done through your iPhone And as you see here, save image and exit out of there. Okay, now I'm going to go to my photos. And there it is right there. So now you see I have that. Let's set that as the SMS background, which it's not on there yet, which I'll show you. See, right there, that's what I'm using. Wallpaper, camera roll, and this. And as like we've done with all the rest, click the left eye on top, and it's set. Now, the secret is that I want to show you, as I go back into the SMS, there it is. Now you can leave this on your SMS, but let's say you don't want the photo in your photos. Not a problem. As you see here, I'm going to delete it. So it's not in my camera roll anymore whatsoever. But it is still in my SMS background. So that way you can put on there what you want through the SMS background, but you don't have to have a shitload of photos saved into your photo albums. And you don't have to touch a damn iTunes or anything to get this on there if you don't want to. You could do it directly on your iPhone. or So this is just showing you a little quick way to do it using full browser, Safari, or anything else you'd like. So again, this is First Shift. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And if there is a video you need to see or something to watch or something to learn how to do, please let me know. Or uh, follow me on Facebook as well. I have a link for that. And uh, see you later.